Hi, and thanks for stopping by, I'm Adam. In last week's video, I got the Ultimate 64 motherboard installed in the C64C case. In this week's video, I want to look at how can we flash upgrade the firmware to the latest version. So let's go ahead and look at how to do this right now. The first thing that we're going to need to do is to download the latest firmware. This you'll find on the ultimate64.com website under firmware. Here I can see the latest Ultimate 64 firmware is revision 1.2. Listed below is any differences between this version and the previous version of firmware. So let's go ahead and download it. Okay, here it is. I'm just going to extract the zip file. And there we have the firmware. So you can see that this has got the extension .u64 and we need to place this on a USB stick insert into the Ultimate 64 and power it on and through the menu system we can install it. But what if the USB stick that you want to use is on the internal socket of the Ultimate 64? Then in this case we can connect using an FTP client. Now one of my favorite FTP clients is this one, WinSCP, and you can get from winscp.net. Come to the downloads, make sure that you don't click download on any of these adverts. You want to download the actual application here and install it. Once installed, you can run the application and you're presented with this login. So you'll need to select a new site, select the protocol FTP, enter the IP address of your Ultimate 64. Now, if you don't know what the Ultimate 64 IP address is, if it's on a standalone network, it is going to be 192.168.2.64. However, if it's on your home network, which most likely it will be, it will be using a DHCP address. So this can be anything that your router assigns it. Don't worry though, you can actually see this from the Ultimate 64 interface. Uh, mine is actually left the default, so let's just connect to this. By the way, the user and password can be anything. Anything seems to work, uh, even nothing. So here we go, uh, there is the USB stick that is inserted in my Ultimate 64. Here I find the firmware folder that I've created that by the way, um, just trying to have some good housekeeping there. So let's go to the firmware. Let's drag this onto the USB stick. Now the transfer takes place. And this I find is a really nice way of adding additional firmwares or games to the USB stick without actually having to remove it from the Ultimate 64 motherboard. Okay, so here we can see the name of the firmware. We must not forget which one this is as this is what we're going to update our Ultimate 64 with in just a few moments. So I will now switch over my recording equipment, connect to the Ultimate 64, and you should all be now seeing the standard screen that is shown when the Ultimate 64 boots. Now what I'm going to need to do is to boot into the Ultimate 64 menu, and this is done by a short press on the power button. Okay, and this is where I said your IP address will be displayed. So if you didn't know what it was, you can always find out here. So you can see on my machine, it's 192.168.2.64. Okay, so let's go back up to the flash disk, enter this, and scroll down to the firmware folder and enter this. Here is the firmware that I just downloaded. So if I select this, I can uh, simply now just select run update. And then we wait for it to do its magic. So we're now prompted with about to flash continue, yes or no. As we can see the checksum uh, was well, okay. So let's go yes. Then we have the option to reset the configuration of the device. I'm going to select no. Turning off the machine in five seconds. And there we have it. Let's reboot. By the way, to reboot, that was an actual physical press of the power button. And we've rebooted. Let's jump into the Ultimate 64 menu 
and have a look around and see that this has really updated the firmware. So here you can see at the top, we are now running Ultimate 64 version 1.2, which is the equivalent of 3.5 on the Ultimate 2 cartridge. Fantastic. And that's how you firmware update the Ultimate 64. Nice.